Hey guys, welcome to Convolution. My name is Con, and right now, it's time for Ruby Volume 5! Bro, we finally here, starting with Chapter 1. Welcome to freaking Haven. We finally at Haven after such a long journey, after such a long Ruby Volume 4, which I absolutely loved Volume 4, and I just recently checked out the Volume 5 character shorts, Whites, Blake, and Yang. If you guys haven't checked out those three of my reactions, I'll leave their links in the description below, as well as up here so you guys can go ahead and check those out before joining back with me for Ruby Volume 5 Chapter 1! Yo, this is so freaking exciting, and I'm even more excited for this chapter based on all your guys' wonderful comments from, from those character shorts and just anticipating you know building up the anticipation to ruby volume 5 so i'm, I'm super duper excited volume 4 in terms of its graphics and the new engine was such an improvement over the volumes 1 2 and 3 i absolutely loved it the volumes 1 2 and 3 will always maintain their majesty in terms of their action and just the overall surprise quality that overall you know that quality of just like the world of ruby you know and volume 4 did such a phenomenal job in expanding the world that all that world building that character development development more Ren and Nora yo dude I absolutely love that stuff and the character shorts Weiss Blake and Yang actually gave us a clue or a look into a lot of the other stuff like you know Weiss's history prior to uh, the white trailer even Blake and Ilya's relationship Ilya's backstory and Yang's uh, Yang's motivation of her helping her sister and that's being cemented in through that character short leading into what I'm assuming is gonna be freaking chapter one dude I'm so freaking excited as always if you guys are enjoying watching these videos with me do not forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with any other fans of Ruby or Rooster Teeth content out of there. And with that all being said, I was so freaking excited. This is a nice, juicy 22 minutes and 37 second episode. Dude, I cannot freaking wait. Let's go. Ruby Volume 5, Chapter 1. Here we go into Haven in 3, 2, 1. Silhouette of the Mouse, son! The city. Mistral. Oh, crow. Uh, it's about time. Yes. <laughs> Whose idea was it to walk again? Well, we did face many obstacles: broken airships, destroyed settlements. Oh, and you know all those people and monsters that tried to murder us. Yeah. <laughs> we were fine. Oh, look at him! He looks all good now. Almost died. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> So how much farther to Haven Academy? Crow's back on his feet. Almost there. I'd have figured I'd take you kids on the scenic crowd. Oh, interesting. Let's see what this scenic route is like. Wow. Oh shit. Look at that. This looks Gorge. Oh, whoa! Oh my gosh, look at all the weapons! Holy... Fenders here will sell you just about anything, whether they should or not. They really made the most out of these mountains. Every inch. And stay away from the lower levels. But the higher up you go, the nicer it gets. Well, that makes and sense. And we are going up! <laughs> all the way to the academy, bro! But damn, dude, you see all those, like, Character art backgrounds and stuff like. So, how much? Yes. We're in the home stretch now. No more stops from here to Mistral. Sorry for the long trip. Keeping us off the radar has been harder than I thought. Lots of air traffic around Northern Anima. Hey man, you're getting paid well it's for fine. this. I just hope I haven't been a burden. Aww. <laughs> you and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. <laughs> you and your money. Is everything okay? I don't know. I'm still over Lake Matsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcast this far from Mistral. Someone must be close. Mayday! Mayday! We are a small passenger flight and our hundreds is down! We aren't equipped to deal with this! Wait, what? Oh, man. The Grim hit us 400 clicks north of the southern shoreline! Get him off us! If anyone can hear this! Oh shit! Yo, they're being attacked? We're going to help them, right? What? No. I'm trying to avoid them. But they'll die. Look, if we picked up their transmission, I'm sure someone else did too. Besides, this is a cargo ship. She's not much good in a fight. I just want to finish this job and get home. Sorry, kid. Uh... My ship, my rules. Well, that is true. I can't really blame the guy. I mean, the ship does not look like it's equipped for battle. Plus, he 
the, uh, you know, he does. He's not well aware of her capabilities of what she's able to do. We don't even know how many Grim there are, or if she's even able to handle all that. You know, so I can't really blame the guy for staying away from the fight. But still, man, look at this place. Looks very Asian style architecture. Well, it's Haven, so. We made it. Oh, wait, I just remembered. This is a uh, Professor uh, Lionheart's school, which means Watts has got to be around somewhere, right? Hello. Hello. Maybe try louder? There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Yeah, where are all the students? Well... I guess school isn't really in session right now. Maybe that's it. Still, some faculty members at the no, very least? This isn't right. Come on. Wait for us! Got a bad feeling about this! Oh, I like the little bamboo sticks on the side. It could be trouble. Nearly scared me half to death. Oh, cause <sighs> cowardly lion, I get it. You waiting for us at the entrance? Huh? Oh right. Apologies. I guess time slipped away from me. <laughs> You're joking. Where is everybody? Ah, you must be the students Crow mentioned. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ruby Rose. Jean Arc. Nor Valkyrie. Lyren. Lyren. A <laughs> pleasure to meet you all. Leonardo Lionheart at your service. Leonardo Lionheart. I'm afraid most of my staff is currently away until classes resume, but... What? Leo, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? Right. Crow, the children... Already know. I filled them in. Mm -hmm. What do you mean your staff is away? You filled them in? So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? <laughs> yeah. What is going on, though? This school is completely empty. Like, n unbelievable! Oh shit! Total garbage. <sighs> we can't, can't let, let them get, get away with this. this. Oh shit! Well, at least you two. Father and potential son-in-law seeing eye to eye on something. Yes, Kali is right. <laughs> Guys, everything's gonna be okay. Wait. I'm guessing this is right after the Blake character evening, short. Miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's all right. Sure thing. Just call if you need me. I like that guard's armor. Looks freaking awesome. You need better security. Oh shit! Enter the Please chameleon me. bay. I just need to talk. Talk about what? How could you take the fall for them, Ilya? Yeah, this has to be after the character Corsican short. Corsican Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight and they denied knowing anything and everything we found on your scroll. They talked about how disappointed they were to hear that you'd sided with Adam. Yeah, but they're lying, those but lying you bastards. No, they're guilty. You can't prove anything. That scroll might not have been enough to lock them up but it's enough to sway the fawn is here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. And neither should you. But... Oh. Your plan isn't gonna work, Blake. What scroll? Please, just leave Menagerie before it's too late. Before what's too late? What's happening? What's gonna happen? You're going to have to make me. Oh shit, that's right! Cat versus chameleon. Let's go. Damn. I don't know why I thought she was gonna like fly off after jumping up. I have to say, Crow, 
This all seems very reckless, even for you. No, reckless is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. Yes! It's not checking in with Oz for ages. Yes! There was nothing to check in about before the fall of Beacon, but since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. Vale wasn't the only kingdom to suffer that night. Everyone was watching. Every house in every kingdom saw that poor girl ripped to pieces. Oh, saw dude. monsters crawling over the city, at Lysian knights attacking citizens. And then nothing. Oh yeah, because the communication you got could cut feel off. The dread in the air. Damn. With all that negativity you can imagine what it was like when the Grim came for us. Right, it's a Mistress after effects. controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. Right, I see his point. We lost so many great huntsmen, teachers from this very institution. Wow. And it's only gotten worse. Holy shit. What do you mean? We may have dealt with the Grim, but the Mistral Council's still at odds with representatives from Atlas. First, it was the dust embargo. Now it's the closing of borders. I'm not sure what happened to James in Vale, but it seems to have only worsened some of his more... That's what Jock and Ironwood were talking about. Closing off the borders, right? And on top of everything, we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. Oh. All the more reason we need the Huntsman and Huntress is here. Okay, okay. Things are bad. They're bad. But we can figure this out. Why is the Spring Maiden so important? Ah, uh, she's the Maiden! I thought you filled them in. Mostly filled in. Look, there's a lot to cover, okay? Oh, there's more! I'm teaching for a reason. There's more! More! Let's go! Come on, come on, tell the us! Four maidens each have the power to perform feats of magic. Yes. And they are the only ones capable of reaching the relics. Wait, what? What? The relics are Jinx. each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden. Winter for the gift of creation, summer for destruction, fall for choice, and spring for knowledge. Oh, shit! Spring is the problem. What Why? happened to her? She was determined at first when she inherited her powers. But the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. She ran, abandoned her training, everyone. Oh, shit. That was over a decade ago. There's no telling where she could be now. Oh, shit. No. At least I have a pretty good idea. Are you serious? It's not exactly good news. Wait, where? What? Are you what? talking about? This is incredible news. After all these years, where? I did some digging around. Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits. Specifically, oh! Raven tribe. Raven. Shit! That's Yang's mom. That's right. She's with the she's with Raven. That's about where they've set up their main camp. It's where they fall back to after raids and scouting missions. Raven's managed to gain a lot of followers since she returned to the tribe. And I'm sure when the Spring Maiden showed up, it only made things easier. Yeah, I bet. Well, Crow, I've got to hand it to you. With these coordinates, we can mount a retrieval force and head out in a few weeks. Retrieval force? You got barely anybody in your a few weeks? That's right. Leo, maybe you didn't hear me. My sister has the Spring Maiden and I know where she is. We need to go as soon as possible. Right. And perhaps you didn't hear me. This kingdom is in shambles. As soon as possible does not mean tomorrow. It means as soon as I can convince the rest of the council that I need huntsmen more than they do. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, bandit tribes aren't very high on their list of priorities when the threat of war is just on the horizon. And okay. damn the council, we'll do it ourselves. 
You and I are trained huntsmen, and these kids aren't exactly pushovers. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. yeah, let's go. Perhaps there's a more peaceful way to approach this. Ah. We need to get Spring as far away from here as possible. But Raven isn't going to give up her most prized possession to <sighs> fight. Unfortunately, Mom of the year. You and your sister are evenly matched, and I'm not the fighter I used to be. No offense. But these students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe and a maiden that's no doubt had years to hone her skills. A decade. We need to be positive we can apprehend Spring, because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter and we'll be lost. Not to mention the maiden we is literally a nuke. shot at this. And it needs to be perfect. He does have a point. You know, Oz wouldn't be happy with any of this if he were here. Uh, oh, yeah, where is he? But he's not. I'm doing the very best I can. Didn't the staff to be something we can do? Thing. What about Cinder? She came with Emerald and Mercury from Haven. Do you have anything on them? We pulled their files after the fall of Beacon. Nothing but lies and forgeries. Oh, yes, get angry, bro. Well, I can't say this has been a war. Anger reunion, gets you know. shit done. I'm sorry. I know you've all traveled a long way, but I will do everything I can to help. Sure. We'll stay in the city for the time being. Local comms are still up. Keep in touch. Come on, kids. Wait, so d did Crow meet Oscar already? In the it was nice meeting you, Professor. Likewise. Mm -mm. He was the. Oh, Leo. We have got to work on your improvisational skills. Son of a bitch. The freaking cursive W. So, what do we do now? You four head back to the house. I need a drink. Oh, is that when he meets Oscar? Is that the timeline? Yes, that's the timeline matching up. Of course, now it makes sense. And then Watts has the conversation with freaking... Uh, Excuse me. Professor... Ah, yes! <laughs> Getting to see this again. You know, I don't think they allow kids in here, Pipsqueak. It's okay. It's okay! Up, I'm getting there. <laughs> My favorite character! Oscar, oh. I mean. I'm supposed to tell you. I'd like my cane back. Give it to him! Yeah, Crow gets it. Let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Hand it over. Tis mine. It's good to see you again, Oz. Zoom. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit! What is this? Aren't you a little young to be drinking? Oh, look at those shades, bro. Oh, water. It's hot out. Yo! Oh. Yang in the house! We're getting all the girls all in this <laughs> one chapter. You telling me you're too young to drink? Who's this guy? You look like a regular huntress. And a beauty at that. I'm good. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Seriously. Not too bulky. Not too lean. Bitch! You're... Just right. Yep. Oh, I get it, Goldilocks. Ah. And your hair. Oh, hell's no. Yeah. Oh, oh his tooth went flying. Nice, Sudesne. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh shit! What was that? He freaking ricocheted like a billion times and exited. Yeah, you want to give this him the water. On the house. He's been driving me crazy. Word. Oh shit, she still got the... Uh. 
And yeah. So, what brings you around these parts? Yeah, wait, homie. Me some drinking. Thanks. And I'm uh, looking for someone. <laughs> Sister? Not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Only person worth noting around here is, well, Ray. Raven Bronwyn. Oh shit! Thanks again. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. They're a world of trouble. So I hear. Oh, I thought she was gonna say, "So am I." Ooh. <laughs> that guy's still okay. Don't he'd at least have a concussion or be concussed. Hey, girly. Seriously, this isn't over. Punch him again. I heard you. Break off. Looking for someone. <laughs> I don't even trust this guy. Holy shit! So she's actually looking for a raven. So I was wrong. Hmm. But why? Outside the fact that it's her mom. Who's knocking? This doesn't feel Oh! Ah! Yo, let's go! Uh hello. Can I help you? Um Yeah, is there a Ruby Rose here? <laughs> Why? Um Well, I found him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, he's drunk as hell. Oh. <sighs> I found him. <laughs> what is going on out there? My god. Can a girl read her comics in peace? Yes, her comics! <laughs> Crow, did you get drunk again? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, but this time. It's okay. I have silver eyes. Oh, shit! Hello. Who are you? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, He's like, wait for it. Wait for it. Well, my name is Oscar Pine. Oscar Pine? You probably know me as Professor Ozpin. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he had the new opening! Let's go! Oh, shit! Damn! Oh, dude, and everybody just disperses into freaking leaf petals. Yo, grab your weapons! Let's go! Oh shit, dude! Yes! Oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh yes, the shadow of Watson. Oh, hello, Hazel and Adam. Chilling at menagerie. Huh? What the hell? Damn! There's so much that's gonna happen in this volume. Oh, these bastards! Yo! No Hazel! Well, yeah, that conflict is definitely gonna happen. Yes! Let's match! Oh shit! Oh, four of them together! Let's go! Ah, Salam! Salim! Damn, dude, if that opening doesn't build up your hype, holy freaking shiznika, dude, that was so freaking good. And hold on, I gotta get my thoughts in order. And of course, you guys can fill me in on everything that I missed, but for some reason, Professor Lionheart, I did not expect Professor Lionheart to look the way he did, you know, Leonardo Lionheart. For some reason, for some reason, I, I know a lot of you guys when you've referred to him in the comments about who that character was in the pre end of previous volume For some reason even though you guys said he was this he was this, in my head for some reason. I thought it was a she I don't know why 
I honestly don't. And if, if even if I think about it now, it's like, why the hell would you think it's a she? I don't know. For some reason, I just thought Professor Lionheart was a lady. And so I was a little bit taken aback by the whole, you know, him be her, her him being a guy, of course. But you know, it was only momentary. It was like a flash. It was like a flash thought of like, dude, what was I thinking? What the hell? Everybody said he he he. No no no. So we meet Leonardo Lionheart, of course, and the, throughout that whole conversation, while they were with Crow and stuff, you know, and uh, meeting Team Ruby and filling in all that information about the, about the maidens, you know what I'm saying. And of course, then Raven and the bandits, you know, I think Raven and her bandits have the spring maiden on hand, which, uh, yeah, I, that actually, yeah, that, that, that's it. They have the spring maiden with them who basically abandoned all her training and then spent 10 years away from them. And it was, a, I guess, picked up by the Raven and her bandits. So they basically have the super powered maiden on their team. And no wonder they're pretty much wreaking havoc throughout, um, through you know anima you know what i'm saying and all those like villages left in their wake and uh so it's just absolutely insane it gives it, it, it gives continuity to what we have seen in ruby volume 4. now before all that we get introduced to haven academy and freaking you know the city as a whole you know what i'm saying and <clears throat> we, we've come so far from like the shadow figures you know the shadow figure people and the shadow backgrounds and they're not 3d we, we're going into much more artistic design and artistic quality which i suppose makes sense because anima or the continent of anima and like you know haven academy the kingdom of mistral it's we're, we're very known for like its artistic quality and it's crazy how we're entering this continent and already we're getting new artistic designs and qualities and the graphics as well like the environmental it's not just 3d movable figures anymore it's like cell shaded uh animated figures and animated two-dimensional characters already imprinted in with like movable backgrounds in the mix so i absolutely love that i don't know what did you guys think about this uh um, design or dynamic design that's been developed for uh the volume five or at least this chapter anyway the school being absent of all its students and its faculty that's some shady shit but now we know why it's so why it feels so shady is because i totally forgot about the conversation between watts and uh, professor lionheart at the, at the end of volume four you know but now it all makes sense because behind professor lionheart watts is like you know we already even we saw in the opening that you know he's pulling his strings he's basically uh, manipulating uh, uh professor lionheart like a puppet from the shadows you know so now that they know that information about crow being here and that about ospin too or actually no no, no this happened before uh, they even got know that Ospin returned. So we still have that surprise. The Watts doesn't know about that yet. But the whole Maiden information with Raven and stuff, that's bad. Because now Watts knows about it and we don't know what he's going to do with that information. Is Raven going to get hurt by the end of this volume? Dude, man, that's some crazy shit. And we also got a, um, a picture, a, a look at uh, Cinder standing toe-to-toe -to -toe against this other girl, which might be the Maiden? I don't know. We've never seen that character before. We see Hazel with Adam. We see, like, Salem pop up Salim, bro! And we all see uh, Yang versus Mercury. Dude, is everybody, our whole team gonna come together by the end of this chapter? And also Ilya versus Blade. That's also a con that, uh, that's also a confrontation that I'm looking forward to as well, now that we got Ilya's backstory a little bit. See all those, see those other two members from the White Fang, you know. And of course, Oscar showing up at the end. Dude, I love Oscar. Oscar, Pine, Ospin. Ah, so good. All right. <clears throat> I'm not going to say no more. I'm going to say my voice and my ideas for a later uh video but uh yeah what did you guys think leave your comments down below i absolutely loved volume 5 chapter 1 i feel like the graphics are just improving and improving and the story is just being built up and there's just, just, such mystery in the air you know just for just from this first chapter so i cannot wait welcome to haven indeed we are finally here cannot wait to chapter 2 i might react to it tomorrow because this i don't know i'm, I'm gonna rewatch chapter 1 right now but yeah I'll, I'll, I'll come back with you guys later until the next video i'll see you guys later hope you guys enjoyed this this video don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in chapter two bye thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it please subscribe hit that like button and feel free to share the video and i'll see you guys next time